Hey guys, what is up? It is Assisting Middleman here with Guides for Us All, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get the unique weapon Blade of the East in Fallout New Vegas. So, if you go to the final battle in the game, you must be fighting against the Legion, and you will come across the final boss of the game. His name is Legion Lanius, I believe, and that means Butcher, actually. So, you have to kill Legion Lanius. His weapon is the Blade of the East. So, you must note that this guy is pretty powerful, so I recommend having the shotgun skill and stay back. Also look out for his minions because they have those weird explodey gloves, I don't even remember what they're called. But yeah, I just end up using the debug pistol because I don't even want to deal with his crap. So once you loot him, you will get the Blade of the East and you can only use it for the remainder of that battle. However, if you're playing on PC, you can press the little squiggly symbol in the top left of your keyboard, I don't know what it's called, and type in player.addItem00143 FBA space 1 and you will get the Blade of the East. Also make sure you put a space in between add item and the 00143 FBA and you'll get the Blade of the East and you can use it for however long you want. Now this thing is an absolute beast of a weapon. It has an effect of minus 2 HP for 10 seconds and so once you uh, hit them every 2 seconds it will subtract 2 HP from them. Also this bad boy does 65 damage default with no upgrades to it and that is just pretty awesome. The only cosmetic difference between the Blade of the East and a bumper sword is that it doesn't have the license plate on the underside of the sword, so, you know, it kind of just looks like a bumper sword with a better effect. It is much more powerful than the bumper sword, and it also has a special mauler attack, which does only half damage at the cost of 9 more AP points, but has the chance to knock enemies down on the ground, which is awesome. And I love using that thing in VATS because you spin around and just do a cool looking attack, and I don't know, I think I like it way too much. You can actually see Legit Lanius uh, hitting NCR non-veteran rangers with it, dismembering them and getting one hit kills. This weapon can also cause your enemies to fly backwards and be knocked out, so this thing is actually a pretty beast of a weapon. It kind of sucks, you can only use it at the end of the game if you're not playing on PC. It's kind of sad. Fortunately, now I have Fallout on PC and I can <laughs> use my console commands to get this weapon whenever I want. Uh, you can strike 3,995 times from full condition before breaking this weapon. That's insane. That is a lot of freaking hits. And there's also a weapon called Blade of the West that you can get in Lonesome Road, which is unrelated and not unique like this weapon. Um, the, Leg the Legit has a different version of this weapon that is meant for th that is not meant for the player to have. Sorry. Uh, as when you try to take the weapon from the corpse, a Blade of the East is instead added to the player's inventory as opposed to whatever his version is. His unique version of this weapon has a base damage of 65, a crit damage of 30, and a damage per second of 102. Um, he, though, inflicts over 100 points of damage per hit with his sword. So if your health is low, you're probably going to have a struggle fighting him if you don't knock him down on the ground. And Salt, of Salt Upon Wounds Power Fist is the only other weapon that normally comes with a poison effect. And that is the only weapon you can actually get through normal gameplay that you can keep through battles. And the value of the sword is actually really low compared to how strong it is. And if you're on Xbox or PS3, sometimes when you're in places where Lanius can't hit you, he will equip a pistol to shoot at you, and the Blade of the East will be gone forever, so you cannot acquire it. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about this weapon. It's a pretty cool weapon. Uh, I like it very much, and I love using it, except I was never able to really give it a proper usage when I played on console, because I could only get it at the end of the game, and then I was done with it. Also, I think that commemorates that I have made a video for every single unique weapon in New Vegas, so that's pretty awesome. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure I have, besides Gunrunner Arsenal's weaponry, and if you guys want me to make videos on those, then I will sometime in the future. So, anyways, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like rating down below, and subscribe to see some more videos in the future, and I'll catch you next time. Goodbye.